get started now. Um, is anybody missing? Okay. Okay. I want to welcome everybody here. I want to thank you for coming out. We have a great turnout uh, for this historic event. And uh, welcome you to the final press conference uh, for Koto Ali, which is going to be a historic event. It's a farewell fight for Miguel Cotto. And uh, all of us are very, very proud of Miguel and excited for this event on Saturday. Um, as you know, obviously, Madison Square Garden historic place, the mecca of boxing, but when you combine that with HBO and Miguel Cotto, there's nothing bigger in New York. And we're extremely, extremely happy with the turnout, with the ticket sales, everything uh, related to this show. Tickets are still available, you can still get them. So I want you to uh, let your friends know, family, they're still available, uh, but they're going fast, they're going fast. We had a big push today, we're expecting uh, a bigger push tomorrow and obviously on a Saturday night. So come out. You can get them here at the box office or you can get them at Ticketmaster. Okay. Miguel Cotto is one of boxing's most respected fighters. Uh, obviously, he's out of Puerto Rico. He's fought here many, many times at the Garden here in New York. Uh, and this is really like a, like a second home to him. Or it's a, it's a co-home with, uh, with Puerto Rico. So... There's no surprise we're getting a great turnout here for the press conference, and we're expecting, obviously, a big turnout on Saturday night. Uh, he's a six-time four-division world champion. He's definitely going to be a Hall of Famer uh, when it's all said and done. But he's got a tough test on Saturday night. He's got a young, hungry lion in Saddam Ali that's coming to make a name for himself and to start his own history. And that makes for a great fight. So um, this Saturday, obviously, uh, Saddam's biggest fight of his career. Uh, you got to give credit to his team uh, that's with him right here. Uh, his father, David, who's done a great job in managing his career and getting him to this point. Uh, Saddam's ready. He's ready. Uh, he was just telling me a little bit before the, we started the press conference that he's ready and he's uh, bigger and stronger and faster than ever before. So that makes for an exciting fight on Saturday night. Um, we've always put together, us at Golden Boy, many great events, big fights, but this, is, this has got to be one of the most satisfying shows for us personally uh, because of the significance of Miguel Cotto, his career, what he's done throughout his boxing career, what he's done in big fights, and what he's done here in Madison Square Garden. So for us, obviously, this is... It's a little bittersweet because he's retiring, but we know that it's going to be a great celebration on Saturday night. So we're, we're looking forward to that. And welcome, everybody, to Madison Square Garden, Chase Square here. Um, Eric said this, but for us, too, this is a bitter, very bittersweet day, and Saturday will be very bittersweet. Um, we've had a tremendous relationship, a great relationship with Miguel that dates back to 2005. Um, I spent some time with Miguel last night and his family at the Nick game. Great win, by the way. And, um, you know, it was interesting to see his kids, when, when we first started with Miguel, were little kids. Now they're grown. So it's been 12 years together, um, and he's had an incredible, an incredible Hall of Fame career. Um, he's sold over 150,000 tickets here. Think about that. Um, 150,000 tickets. This will be, Saturday night will be the 10th time that he's fought here. What makes me really happy, and I think his family really happy, and all, all of us, is Miguel is going out on his own terms. Um, and that's a great way to do it. I want to welcome back S Saddam Ali, you know, a native from Brooklyn here in New York. I'm sure he's going to be, come out and look to spoil Miguel's night. So it should be a really great night of boxing. Um, it's really tremendous to be working with Eric, Oscar, Robert, Monica, the entire staff from Golden Boy. They do it right. They're great partners. We've had you know, a great relationship with them and we'll continue to do more and more things with Golden Boy. 
Um, it's also the second week in a row of three weeks in a row of fights. We have a fight next week. Um, but the second week in a row, we're working with HBO and Peter Nelson. And, and it's just a great relationship. And for the people that can't make it here for the fight, although, as Eric said, there are still some tickets available, um, you'll see a great production and a great show on um, HBO on Saturday night. So before I end, I want to bring out, we have a gift um, for Miguel. Um, you know, Miguel, every time he fought here, fought here, he always laid everything on the line. You know, blood, sweat, you know, everything that he could put into a fight, he put into a fight. Um, he's had a Hall of Fame career. We all know he's going into the Hall of Fame. Um, he's what makes the garden in boxing what it is. It's the mecca of boxing, and Miguel is one of those fighters that makes what we do here so special. Um, he's carried the flame for boxing um, for 12 years, um, and we want to present him with this collage, which you'll see is a collage of all his fights that took place here at the Garden. Um, we wish Miguel all the best. Good luck on Saturday night. Um, and it should be a great, great night. So, yeah, I'll help you hold this. Good afternoon to everyone. Gracias por acompañarnos en la tarde de hoy. Este sábado 2 va a ser una noche bien grande. Agradecer a HBO por la oportunidad. A, Pete, a Peter Nelson, a Joe Fisher del Madison por, por la oportunidad en estos pasados 10 combates aquí en Miguel en el Madison. This Saturday is going to be a very emotional, very great event. And I want to thank everyone involved. I want to thank HBO, Peter Nelson, Mr. Fisher with the Madison Square Garden. This will be our 10th fight here. Un agradecimiento muy especial a Eric Gómez, Oscar, Robert Díaz. Ellos tienen un compromiso bien grande en el boxeo en Puerto Rico. En cinco meses, con el favor de Dios, Tito Acosta el sábado se hace campeón mundial. Que, que terminamos por lo menos el año en la isla con cuatro campeones mundiales. And we want to thank Oscar, Eric, Robert, because in five months, God willing, on Saturday night, Puerto Rico will have had four world champions within a short period of time, five months. De Miguel, pues, darle las gracias. Desde el 2010, me ha dado la oportunidad de estar aquí con él. Gracias. And to Miguel, I want to thank him for giving me this opportunity since 2010 to be here with you. Este, nada, el, a, a Ali, la gracias por, por aceptar el récord, el reto de, de Miguel. Y, y el domingo 3 vamos a celebrar en grande. And to Ali and his team, thank you so much for accepting the challenge. And on Sunday, we'll all celebrate a great career. Thank you so much. Gracias. Hello, everyone. I'm really looking forward to my fight on Saturday night. And I can't wait to show you what I'm all about. It's an honor for me to be fighting on such a big card. I'd like to thank Golden Boy and Oscar De La Hoya for giving me this opportunity. And I just can't wait to show you my skills in the ring. Thank you. Gracias. Este, buenas tardes a todos. Este, no que nada, quiero dar gracias a Dios por darme la oportunidad de estar aquí con todos ustedes. Y nada, quiero dar gracias a, a Promociones Miguel Coto que siempre me han dado la mano desde un principio de mi carrera y, y a Héctor Soto. Quiero dar las gracias a Junito Coto que que gracias a World of Promotion me dieron la oportunidad de pelear en esta cartera donde estará Junito peleando y pidiéndose el boceo. I want to thank everybody, first of all, and thank, thank my promotion, uh, Miguel, for guiding me, taking me through all my career, taking me by the hand and, and taking me to this, this particular fight and, and such a great event where you're retiring. I want to thank Hector Soto and Golden Boy as well for this opportunity. Le quiero dar las gracias a Francisco Paco Valcarce que, que ha confiado en mí. Este, me dio esta segunda oportunidad de pelear por el título mundial con, con Juan Alejo, que es un gran peleador de México, que, que viene con la misma hambre que yo. 
And I also want to thank the president, Mr. Paco Balcácer, for giving me the second opportunity to a world title. I know I have a f tough opponent, Mexican Alejo, who is hungry, and he wants that world title as well. Y este, quiero dar las gracias a DirecTV que me da la, la oportunidad que, que el pueblo de Puerto Rico vea mi pelea allá y, y, a, y a mi equipo de trabajo, a todos mis auspiciadores que, que siempre están apoyándome en mi carrera. Also want to thank DirecTV for, for showing my fight in Puerto Rico, which is very important for all my fans, all my people to see my world title fight. I want to thank my team for always being there, working hard with me. Gracias. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Tito. Thank you very much. Now I want to introduce the co-feature, which is also a world title fight. This fight's going to be televised on HBO. Um, this kid here uh, is undefeated, Oscar Negrete. He's getting a chance at the world title for the first time in his career. Um, he's worked very, very hard to get to this point. And uh, we're very happy for him to get him the opportunity to fight for the world title. Uh, it's going to be a tough fight against the champion who's also undefeated. Uh, but I want to bring up his manager first to say a few words, talk about his, uh, how he prepared for this fight and uh, the magnitude of this event. So I want to bring up Cesar Garcia to say a few words on behalf of Oscar Negrete. Um. And with Oscar, I realized kind of early in his career that, that fighting for a world title was a real possibility. Um, I thought it would happen because of his weight class. I thought it happened maybe in Japan or Mexico or something like that. Never thought that it would happen at, at the Madison Square Garden on a great card um, as a co-feature. So thanks, Robert. Thanks, Golden Boy, Eric, all the staff over there. Thank you, guys. Um, that said, Oscar is always prepared. He's always training, very disciplined. That's... that's uh, the main ingredient that got him here. Um, and in reality, whether we're fighting at the Madison Square Garden, it could be in a parking lot, it could be at the Velasco, it doesn't matter. We're here to win and we fully intend to do so. Thank you. So he's undefeated, uh, getting a chance for the world title for the first time on HBO on a big stage here at the Garden. Uh, he's out of Colombia, undefeated, 19-0, and 0, uh, and I want to bring him up to say a few words. He's fighting Ray Vargas for the WBC Super Bantamweight title, and that is Oscar El Jaguar Negrete. Muy buenas tardes a todos. Eh, primero que todo, quiero darle las gracias a Dios por tenerme en este momento aquí. Eh, darle las gracias a Golden Boy Promotion, Oscar de la Hoya, Eric, Robert Díaz, Por, por ayudarme a conseguir esta oportunidad. Sé que enfrente mío tengo a un gran campeón, como lo es Rey Vargas, pero para ser campeón tienes que ganarle a los mejores y estoy preparado para eso. Uh, first of all, I want to thank um, you know, Robert and Eric and uh, everybody at Golden Boy for the opportunity to fight uh, for the world title. Um, I know that I have a great champion in front of me. And I know it's a tough fight, but in order to become champion, you have to go through these types of fights and beat these kind of champions. Eh, sé que Rey Vargas es un gran campeón, y, pero estoy en mejor momento de mi carrera. Y eso lo voy a demostrar el sábado cuando Oscar Negrete salga a ganar ese título. Gracias a todos por estar aquí. Eh, gracias a todos por esta oportunidad. Y nos vemos el sábado. I know that, uh, that Rey is a, is a great champion. Uh, but I'm, I'm in the best moment of my career. I feel the best, and uh, we're, we're here to win the title. So Thank thanks you. again to everybody for, uh, you know, for being here. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, and good luck. Good luck on Saturday night. Now to the world champions team. Uh, he is trained by one of the best trainers in all of boxing. Uh, Nacho Berenstein, uh, and it's funny, I was, just, I was just turning over here to the dais, uh, to my right here, and, and I see Freddie, and I see Nacho, and I mean, there's so many world championship fights that these guys have been a part of, especially in the last 20 years when I started in boxing, and uh, 
you know, uh, it really is a privilege to be around such great trainers. And uh, Nacho represents Ray Vargas, who's the undefeated world champion. And uh, we'll have Nacho say a few words to come up here. So let's uh, introduce Nacho. Buenas tardes a todos. Es una, una pelea, la segunda defensa de Rey Vargas frente a un peleador que tenemos mucho respeto por el boxeo colombiano. Creo que va a ser una gran pelea. Estamos obligados a una gran pelea porque es una función histórica el retiro de un grande del, del boxeo mundial que es Miguel Cotto. Uh, Esperamos we, uh, estar a la altura de esta, de esta velada. Un saludo a todos los adictos al boxeo. Un abrazo. Gracias. I would like to uh, thank all of you for being here. I just can say that uh, fighting Oscar Negrete will be a great fight. Ray Vargas is on his uh, second uh, title defense. And that's such an honor for uh, this defense since we are fighting under the uh, great card, under Miguel Cotto's retirement uh, fight. And we would like to appreciate that to everybody involved, which is Golden Boy, uh, HBO, Madison Square Garden, and everybody that put this card together. We would like to thank, uh, I would like to thank uh, all the fans, and I would like to thank them for making boxing the best sport. Thank you all. Thank you. Buenas tardes a todos. Bueno, contento y motivado de, de estar ya aquí. Una gran velada histórica. Uh, I thank you all for being here. Good afternoon all. And I would like to uh, let you know that I'm happy and I'm motivated for being part of this uh, great uh, po uh, fight, promotional. Doble emoción de haciendo mi, mi segunda defensa del título mundial. Y bueno, también en el, en el retiro de, una gran, gran, de un gran boxeador, de un monstruo que se convirtió en el boxeo como es Miguel Cotto. Very happy, very happy for uh, being part of uh, uh, Cotto's uh, retirement card. He's a monster in boxing. He's a great boxer, and I'm happy for being part of his, uh, for his uh, fighting uh, retirement card. Listo para, para este sábado con un peleador fuerte, que lo he visto es un peleador, un guerrero, arriba del ring. Pero bueno, quiero hacer lo mismo que ha hecho Cotto, llegar al corazón de la gente y bueno, eh, demostrar por qué soy el campeón del mundo, por qué soy el número uno y por qué lo seguiré siendo. And uh, I have a, I, I'm happy and I'm a very uh, enthusiastic because I'm fighting a great fighter. Oscar Negrete, a Colombian guy that I know he's tough and he's coming to get my title. But I would like to let you all know, and will you, you will see it this coming Saturday, why I am number one, why I would like to be number one forever. And I'm a champion on my second uh, defense. And I'm gonna, would like to do what Cotto did, get to people's heart, be number one for the people. Estoy listo para la pelea. Mi rival puede salir a mover piernas, pero yo creo que vamos a hacer una pelea de poder a poder en el centro del ring. Es lo que vamos a hacer. Estoy listo. Si quieren, traigan la báscula y comenzamos de una vez. Buenas tardes a todos. Gracias. I'm ready. I'm ready for Saturday. And uh, I'm going to come and give everything on Saturday night. And I'm ready for the fight. And if you can bring the scale, I'm ready right now. Bring it on. Good afternoon, everyone. Well, here we are. The work has been done. It's been a strong, hard, diligent camp. Uh, Saddam, who I refer to as my nephew, was yelled at, pushed, shoved, <laughs> driven through the, through the mud to make sure that he was ready to, def to perform at 154 pounds. And in the beginning, I was like, okay. But now he showed me that he wanted to be that, he wanted to be that fighter to contend against Miguel Cotto, a legend, and one of my favorites. But Saturday night, he won't be my favorite. 
I still love you, though. <laughs> we came here to win a title, to perform, to entertain the crowd, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to entertain the crowd, and we're going to come out victorious. Uh, before I go, I'd like to thank our team, uh, my partner in crime, Saddam's assistant trainer, Lenny Wilson, uh, my nephew, Curtis Stevens, his dad, <laughs> my brother, David <laughs> Ali, and the rest of the team. We had a fantastic time, and we're looking forward to Saturday. We'll all see you then. Thank you, Andre. Um, having worked with Saddam for the last few years, I I've never seen him in better shape. I was just I was joking with his dad right before the press conference, and I said, he's got muscles now. <laughs> he's got muscles now. So I know he worked hard. And, and again, you cannot underestimate a dream. Having a dream, being that little kid and working towards something and getting to that point. And that's what's happened with Saddam. You know, he's always dreamed about being on, at this stage here, at the Garden, fighting a big fight, a legendary fighter. And that's, that's what David told me in many of our conversations when he called me every day for two weeks. He said, Eric, this is our dream. This is Saddam's dream. Just give him the opportunity. He won't let you down. Give him the opportunity. And I got to tell you, I mean, I, you know, just... You know, being in boxing for 20 years and, and doing thousands of fights, these are the most dangerous fights because you can underlook, you, you, you can overlook a guy. You know, he comes in just under the radar a little bit, and you never know. Anything can happen, especially here at the Garden. Especially at the Garden here because, you know, Garden has had some special nights, historic nights here. So I'm very happy for him. He's from Brooklyn. Uh, he's your very own fighter. Uh, Saddam Ali. Uh, first and foremost, I'd like to thank God uh, for bringing everybody together. Uh, thank God for this opportunity. Of course, thank Kodo, Team Kodo for this opportunity. Thank uh, Team Ali, uh, uh, HBO, uh, Madison Square Garden, and Golden Boy Promotions for this opportunity. Uh, like you said, I've been training my whole life since I was eight years old. I uh, started boxing. and. Um, Everybody waits for a world title like this, uh, and, and against a legend for a world title, it, it gets no better. Uh, so yes, you do see a little more muscle because you got to work hard. You're going in there, you, you fight Miguel Cotto, you're not ready, you're going to be in trouble. So I, I know what I'm stepping in there with, and I know that I have to be ready. So um, I know there's a lot of people that are saying, oh, this might not be a good fight, but uh, everybody can say what they want, but when we get in there Saturday night, you're going to see an amazing fight. And, um, and I'm excited, and I just want to thank everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Um, we've had a really, really good training camp. Um, you know, I know this is our, supposed to be our last training camp, and it's um, a little bit of a sad moment to say that, but because I'm going to miss this guy a lot. But um, we had a really good training camp. We, we really, um, yesterday was the best I've ever seen, seen Miguel get ready for the big, big fight. And um, he's just in great shape. We didn't take anyone lightly. We never took re re retirement. No one talked about that during training camp because we had a fight coming up. And we're going to go out as winners. And he's on top of his game right now. And you're going to see the best Miguel yet. Thank you. Thank you, Freddie. So as I said a little earlier, this is the second fight that we're working with Miguel Cotto. And what was refreshing for me and, and, and our team is, you know, normally you work with fighters and they get involved with, you know, well, you know, who's the opponent, who, you, who are we going to fight, what, you know, the managers get involved. With Miguel, it was totally different. It was totally different. The conversation with Miguel and his team were, is Golovkin available? <laughs> no, Golovkin's not available in December. Then I don't care who. You guys pick the opponent, get me anybody. I'll fight anybody. And that's really, really refreshing, especially from a fighter that's a veteran like Miguel, especially for a fighter that's going out. He really didn't care who he was fighting. And that's, 
always very, very refreshing to a promoter. And, and, and it's a little different because many managers and fighters, they try to get involved, especially when they're veterans. They've been around. They know what they're looking for. They know the kind of style they want to fight. Um, and when I came and I said, hey, well, look, Saddam Ali, Miguel said, no problem. Anybody, you guys work it out. You guys decide. Just give me the date, the weight. I'll be there. And, and he's pretty much been that way throughout his career, uh, I've been told. And uh, it's something that's great and refreshing. And it, it goes to show that when you're in shape, when you're sure about yourself and you believe in yourself, you'll fight anybody. And, and that's the kind of attitude that Miguel's had throughout his career. And that's the reason why he's a warrior. And that's the reason why we all love him. And... Um, it's going to be bittersweet on Saturday, but it's going to be a, 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 it's, we're all going to have a great celebration on Saturday because a legendary fighter's fighting his last fight at the Garden, and, uh, and it's going to be a special night. So I can't wait. I'm getting a little choked up here. <laughs> uh, but I want to bring up, say a few words. You can hear from the man himself, the great, the great Miguel Cotto. Thank you, Eric. It's been a pleasure for me to try to entertain you guys for 17 years, try to do my best every opportunity for the benefit of my family. They meant uh, everything to me, uh, and I so proud of them, they're so proud of me, and all I can say is the next Saturday, I'll be the same Miguel you watched for the last 16 years. I'm going to be a warrior inside the arena, and I'm going to do my best, as always, for the benefit of my whole family. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> 